In this lesson, we're going to continue looking at units of measurement, uh, whereas the last lesson we focused on uh, length and time and mass and uh, capacity and stuff, we're going to be looking at area and volume in this one. Now, the best way I've found to introduce how to convert between different area units uh, is to have a look at the actual principles behind it. So here we've got a couple of squares, and essentially the squares are the same thing. So this one here is one metre by one metre, and we know that there's 100 centimetres in a metre. So this square here, being 100 centimetres by 100 centimetres, is technically the same thing. It's just written in different units. However, when we work out the area of this one metre square, it only works out to be one times one, which gets you one metre square. This one over here, where the side lengths are 100 centimetres, so same thing, just a different unit, it turns into being 100 times 100 for the area of that square, which is actually 10,000 centimetres squared. So from that little example, we can see that one metre square is actually equal to 10,000 centimetres squared. And if we're going the other way, one centimetre squared is you need to divide by 10,000. So we're starting to deal with some very large numbers when we're coming into area. And I've just got another little example here to illustrate that point. So we've got one centimetre by one centimetre. And the area of that is one centimetre squared. It's just one times one for the square. One centimetre is equal to 10 millimetres. So the area of this square here, same thing, just different units, is actually 100 millimetre squared. So now we can see that one centimetre squared equals 100 millimetre squared. So the numbers are getting quite large. What I put together, and uh, something that might be worth pausing the video to write down, is a little table here with the conversions there. So when we're converting from kilometres to metres, a metre is a thousand kilometres, so when we're talking about these little squares, the area of that is actually 1,000 times 1,000, which gets you your million units there. Uh, and we looked at metres to centimetres and centimetres to millimetres. So pause the video now and get a copy of that down. Okay, in the previous lesson we had a look at King Henry's daughter makes delicious chocolate muffins as a little way to remember how to deal with these conversions. So we're going to bring it in and we're going to use the same thing. So the K stands for kilometres, M stands for metres, C for centimetres and M for millimetres. However, now we're going to be talking about units of area. So there's square centimetres, square metres, square kilometres and square millimetres. And the really neat thing about this is, remember how we times by 10 every time we jump from one word to the next? Well, in area, you times it by 10 squared. And because area is unit squared, it's really easy to remember. Area, you square things, so you've got to square the 10 when you make the jump. So this little thing here helps us work it out. So going from square kilometres to square metres, 10 squared is actually 100, so it's times 100, so that's two zeros, and another one for four zeros, and another one for six zeros. And if we have a look back here, area is six zeros, converting between kilometres and metres, so it's times a million. So this thing works in the same way. Uh, and for those who find it easier to remember this one, then go for it. I find it's pretty cool because of the 10 squared matching the whole thing about area being a unit squared. So we'll have a look at uh, a few examples for this one. Now we're converting 10 kilometres squared to metres squared. So again, sort of the same thing. We're going from kilometres, one, two, three jump, which is actually six zeros. So we need to times by a million. We'll times our 10 kilometres squared by a million, which gives us 10 million metres squared. So you can see that this conversion is getting quite large very quickly and uh, compared to units of length. All right, so converting 12 centimetres squared to millimetres squared. Centimetres here to millimetres, we're only making the one jump, which means we only need to move the decimal place two places, or times by 100. So 12 times 100 gives us 1,200 millimetres squared. This one here, 6,724,000 millimetres squared, and we're converting it to metres. So we're going from a small measurement to a large one, which means our number is going to get smaller. Uh, and having a look at what's required, we're going from millimetres, so that's two zeros, four zeros, six zeros to get to the metres, which means that we are dividing by six zeros, or one million. 
and that takes our decimal point back six places. So it takes it back three to skip all those and another three to get in between the six and the seven there. Now we don't need to write the zeros on the end of a decimal. We just need the 6.7424 meter square. Okay, this last example here, 93,100 meters squared, and we're converting it to kilometers squared. So again, we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, which means we're going to divide. And from meter squared to kilometer squared is two zeros, four zeros, six zeros. So we need to divide by one million again. Now the decimal point goes back six places, so it goes back three. It goes back two to get in front of the nine, and we need to put the zero in front of the nine there to hold that place and say that the number is actually really, really small. And that's all the difference is. It's just we're dealing with really, really large numbers now. Um, just to finish up, similarly with volume, I'm going to use the same example, and volume is units cubed, so meters cubed, centimeters cubed, and stuff like that, which means that every jump we times it by 10 cubed. So every jump we times it by three zeros. The same going back the other way. Every jump we divide by 10 to the power of three because it's volume and units cubed. So we're dividing by a thousand every jump. And I'll just bring this in so that we know what letter stands for what. Uh, I'm not going to do any examples on this one. It's the same thing as area, except we're doing, uh, we're dealing with a lot bigger numbers again because every jump is worth 1,000, so when we're converting from cubic kilometres to cubic metres, it's times a 1,000, times a million, times a 1,000 million. So that's getting quite large, uh, and we don't really need to deal with that. We, just, we already know how to do it, so we're going to leave it at that. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in class.